Hey y'all, so it's my birthday. And I'm in Tampa right now. Um, my boyfriend just went to the liquor store and we just left Publix to get like snacks. We always get all of our snacks and stuff for our trip just so like when we're just in the room chilling or like you're drinking and stuff you need to be eating and staying hydrated so we just got like water Powerade, chips cookies all that stuff and tonight we're going to this restaurant called seventh and grove it's black owned and um i'm super excited because i didn't really need anything fancy tonight i know it's my birthday but um I'm just thankful to make it to 25. I'm thankful to be alive. I'm thankful for all the people in my life and my focus. I don't know if I was focused, but I'm just thankful for everybody in my life. Thankful for life. Thankful just to be here. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't really care to do anything crazy. Hold on. It's my boyfriend. Hold on. Hello? Hey. I put that top left. I love my cardi to death. I bring us no X. If you don't say it direct, give a fuck. Yo, yo. I put some ice on my hand. I let her take an advance. She wasn't going to plan. I put a shit in the van. She gotta move with a friend. Her she went back to the man. Give a fuck. Hey y'all, so um I forgot what I was saying earlier. I keep going out of focus, but um, I basically was just saying how I was grateful for my birthday and grateful to just be here, breath in my body. So I didn't really have pressure on what I wanted to eat. I just know that I wanted to eat something delicious. And I did, as you guys saw in the previous clip. I feel like I'm out of focus, but it's so dark Hold on. all right so the lighting is better but um as you guys saw earlier we ate good we ate at this place called seventh and grove here in tampa and it was so delicious i got the gumbo and it had like black eyed peas collard greens shrimp catfish on top it was so delicious and then my boyfriend got oxtails mashed potatoes with collard greens and it was just so so yummy so yeah i don't i don't gotta eat too fancy i love me a good southern meal baby period so yeah that was the night my birthday is officially over and um i spent the morning with my mom which I was so happy about because usually when I go on my birthday trip, I don't be home on my birthday. For like the past two years, I have been out of town on my birthday. And this time around, I was actually home. Hold on y'all, my boyfriend's watching basketball, but um, this was the first time that I was actually home with my mom and I feel like I really needed that just with everything going on and how I've been feeling. I needed to be with my mom and just to see her, feel her energy, receive that love from her just because we're... But yeah, me and her are sharing the same experience right now so I just wanted to be around her. And now I'm with my boyfriend, so now it's just like the icing on the cake. So, yeah, I had a great birthday. I'm loved, I'm blessed, I'm healthy, I'm happy. I am thriving, and I could not ask for a better day. Um, that's just the point I am at in my life. I don't need the extras. As long as I can feel the love and people show me that they love me, I'm big on reassurance, I'm fine. So, yeah, I'm about to call it a night. I'm so red because when showers are super hot, my skin gets so red. But I will see you guys tomorrow because we plan on going to the mall, do a little bit of shopping. So, yeah, see y'all tomorrow. Bye. What's up, y'all? So, it is... I always forget the day once I get on camera. It's Thursday, January 12th. Um, I have not been vlogging because, y'all, I've just been living in the moment so me and my boyfriend and i have a little headache i don't know why but um 
me and my boyfriend went to the outlets just to look and browse around we got lunch after that we went to the mall looked around i looked in the lemon um i looked at zara and then i went to sephora i got a perfume i'll show you guys my perfume that i bought later um and we just been at the mall for like an hour and then we went back to the outlet because i wanted some gym shoes and i had found a pair but i wasn't like 100 percent sold on them and then my boyfriend wanted to get a shirt from out there so we were like we're gonna go to the mall and see if i can find some gym shoes from like Foot Locker somewhere if not then we'll come back and get the other ones but when we came back so he could get his shirt I, I just wasn't sold on them. I just felt like I thought because they were $80, I should just get them because it was a good deal. But I wasn't just a 100% sold on them. So I just left them. I have some gym shoes at my house already. My little ones that I got from Walmart. But I just wanted like a nice pair of Nike shoes. So, you know, some will come and find me. So that's what we've been doing all day. We wanted to go to the beach, but y'all i'm tired just from like walking around going to sleep so late last night um and yeah i don't i, I don't know i just i'm i'm tired you girl's getting up there she's getting older i can't hang like i used to like i just be needing like a little nap a little 30 minute nap a little break so that's what we're doing right now we're taking a break we're going to try to decide what we're going to do later and then what we're going to eat for dinner and then we're going to go out tonight so whatever we do i'll try to record for you guys guys but like i said i just been living in the moment this isn't going to be like a whole extravagant birthday ball so if you wanted that i'm sorry but um I'm gonna still give y'all some vibes or whatever. Yeah, see y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all. So I'm back. We went to this place called Bello. It was an Italian place. I got a Louisiana style pasta so it had chicken shrimp and bacon it's like an alfredo based pasta and then my boyfriend got orange chicken with jasmine rice then after that we went to this place well y'all know that we went to the seventh grove place for our dinner yesterday they had a bar connected so we went to their bar slash lounge and we stayed there for a couple hours they had music we had drinks it was really nice so we just got back in also did i i feel like i already told y'all about the mall so yeah we just got back in and um we're about to call it the night y'all the food that i had was pretty good um, i rated it i think i told my boyfriend i rated it a seven just because y'all know i be cooking i'm a foodie so i know like the difference with foods and stuff good but it could have been better so tomorrow i'm actually like take my time to actually find something worth eating like that was really good but um like something just really really good like our first night here the food was delicious like i said it was just so so good so having that and then having that it was just like a couple notches down but it wasn't horrible so i'm gonna really take my time on tiktok probably tomorrow to kind of see what we're gonna eat for dinner tomorrow i'm kind of like in a seafood mood i'm a seafood girl steak girl when i go out so if i can have like some lobster sushi steak i'll be good but i'm gonna be looking on tiktok to see um i was doing that this night but it's a weekday y'all it is thursday so a lot of stuff here is closing at 10 i'm pretty sure we'll have better luck tomorrow because things may close at 11 or 12 but i took a nap after like having a long day of going to the mall and stuff so i took like an hour nap my boyfriend was up watching snowfall so by the time i woke up and got ready it was already eight and you know when you go somewhere 
close to closing i feel like they just slap your food together so it could have been that with the food as well but hopefully tomorrow we find a better restaurant and then it's open a little bit later so we can just have better service and just have more time to get prepped and ready to eat so yeah so far i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog like i kind of bonnet i feel like i already told y'all about that so yeah i will see you all tomorrow i love you guys so so much thank you all for all the birthday wishes you guys show out i love y'all so much also the nails i know y'all see them they they are literally eating don't play with me the biggest the biggest capricorn period bye hey y'all so look at these big glasses i look like a beetle but it is friday and right now we're getting gas we're about to head to the aquarium get some lunch everything like that y'all last night was so fun me and my boyfriend played oh no did karaoke we crazy it was up all night just joking around and today we just chilled for a bit watched movies and now we're on our way to the aquarium and to get lunch so once we make it i will show you guys everything it's a very gloomy day here today we were gonna go to the beach but it feels like it's about to rain and it's like super windy and cold so hopefully we can go tomorrow so yeah see y'all in a few bye <laughs> Saturday, our last full day here in Tampa. Right now, I am outside of a coffee shop called Raining Berries, and I'm about to go in here and get some coffee. So let's go. Oh, hope y'all can see me. My camera's about to die, but I'm gonna try this coffee for y'all. I got a coconut caramel iced coffee. It's good but it is strong so yeah y'all already know i gotta make it my mission anywhere i go i have to visit a cute coffee shop and this is so cute i wanted to record more for you guys but it was so many people in there and i was the only you know person so uh, <laughs> I don't want people to think I'm recording their kids because it was a lot of kids running around they had like a cute like pink um phone booth in there they had the flower wall um they had a lot of cute like little just decorative stuff that I wanted to record but like I said it was kids running around and you know people looking so I didn't just want to bust out my camera but I did get a little bit of footage on my phone so I'll insert that so y'all can get a better look of the inside of the coffee shop but super cute 10 out of 10 I loved it it's so cute in there they did take a little while with my coffee but it is Saturday and it's a lot of people community is like like it's a super busy um upscale community like everything that's around us is like super duper nice so i can tell they make a lot of business because like i said it's saturday and it's super jam-packed in there i'm used to like really chill uh coffee shop yeah i'm about to go back to the hotel see what me and my boyfriend are about to get into and yeah y'all see y'all later <music> So, I took off my wig. I did, I did, I did, I did. Because, hold on. It was aggravating. And I don't have time to be aggravated. I don't have time for a wig to be locking me down. I go back home tomorrow. Me and my boyfriend went to this place called... 
hold on, I'm out of focus. All right, back in focus. But yeah, I didn't have time to be aggravated with that wig. I ripped it right on off. I don't see how y'all do it. I'm a braids, protective style girl. I would have to do a glue this wig on my U part wig because that for the birds and then it was lifting and all that makeup oh that's aggravating but anyways me and my boyfriend went to this place called um hopefully it's nothing in my teeth because i'm eating but we went to this place called rose bar in tampa and y'all it was not a good experience we end up being there at 10 30 we had to wait because we didn't make reservations which was fine but once we got seated um it took an hour for our food to arrive not only that they closed at 12 so it had to be like late 12 ish when i finally got my food their menu was very limited which was annoying as well because it's just like they didn't really have a lot of options and then like most of the times most restaurants if a meal comes with a certain side they sometimes let you switch out that side they didn't have any size they didn't want the green beans or whatever there wasn't anything on the menu that said that i can switch it out that was annoying because it's like why don't you have extra sides so none of the entrees really intrigued me so i ended up just getting two appetizers which was wings and seafood dip y'all they took over an hour for seafood dip and wings my boyfriend's entree i keep going out of focus his entree came out before mine. So yeah, I was not pleased with the service. And yeah, so anyways, we went to the club after and now we're home. Not home, but now we're back in the hotel. Um, we're gonna pack all of our stuff in the morning because it is 2.50 in the morning. But the soul food place that we went to earlier called Soul Food Fantasy, that's what I'm eating right now. 10 out of 10 so delicious so good if you like collard greens macaroni and cheese <laughs> that's the spot for you it was so 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 good and i love my soul food why do i keep going out of focus y'all hold on i'll be back but yeah i love my soul food so yeah it was so good i don't think my boyfriend really liked his food that much just because he was expecting more um but it was good to me so yeah y'all um i still have to show y'all my perfume i think i'm gonna take this vlog back home like because i'm pretty sure my mom's gonna sing happy birthday to me um and i have a few more things to do when i get home like i want to show you guys what i got for my birthday i ordered me some stuff from amazon i bought myself a perfume that i didn't show you guys um and yeah so i'll definitely take this vlog back home just to give you guys a little more footage just because i feel like i didn't show you guys as much here but like i said i was just living in a moment um not trying to do too much with vlogging i just wanted to enjoy myself enjoy my trip enjoy my you know i didn't want to have the camera out at every single moment but i did want to show you guys stuff because i love y'all so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow and i hope you guys are enjoying it so far bye Hey y'all, so it is Monday. I'm back home. Um, took that wig off. I already told you guys that. I plan on getting my hair done today, hopefully. Um, right now, I'm going to go see my boyfriend. And yeah, I made me some coffee in my orange tumbler today. So good. I do feel low oh can't talk i do feel like i'm getting like a scratch in my throat so i need to get some allergy medicine because i feel like around this time that's when my allergies mess up i did take some of my immunity vitamins this morning just to help with that i wish i would have took them out of town with me also it was like really cold at night in tampa so I feel like that could have, you know, contributed to me having this little scratch in my throat. But I think my people are going to sing happy birthday to me today. So that's why I didn't end the vlog just yet. And also, I'm supposed to be seeing my sister today. 
hopefully um and then i want to show you guys what i got for my birthday before i end the vlog so that's why you guys are still rolling with me um i'm just so happy my birthday went well um i don't even know if i talked about this already but i usually um am already out of town on my birthday so for i feel like i have talked about this but the past i guess like two years i have been gone on my birthday but this year was the first time that i was actually home and leaving on my birthday so i got to spend time with my mom and just be with her and you know just bond with my mom i love my mom and i was glad that i was able to see her talk to her before hitting the road and all of that good stuff so that actually made me really really happy and um also my trip went really nice Ooh. sorry y'all all right y'all my uh trip went nice i don't know where my tripod is at and i'm so thankful for my boyfriend for making my birthday y'all so special my mom made it so special i gotta show you guys what she got me um i was sad entering my birthday but she was just there for me to comfort me and just to be there for me and then my boyfriend really just sealed the deal like my mom started it off and then he just sealed the deal just by taking me out like i said i didn't really want to do anything this year but my mom and him were both like you know you can't really just stop your life and just be sad well not even be sad because they let me feel my emotions but you can't really just stop you know what i'm saying every year you're going to feel the same way but you still need to like celebrate so um yeah, I did, and I'm so thankful for my boyfriend because we had the best time in Tampa. I know that I didn't show you guys like every single thing, but it was just so fun. Um, we ate good, made fun memories, laughed, talked, just did all of the things. And I really enjoyed it. Like, at first, y'all, I hated my hair. It was just a lot. And I was like, what am I doing? I told myself that I was not going to let my birthday, like, consume me or make or break me. But I didn't want my hair looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't care about, like, posting my pictures on Instagram, like, immediately. Like, I was just so... I was so happy and content with what I was doing that I didn't even care about the outside world. But I was not about to have my hair looking crazy. That's one thing I wasn't going to do. So, yeah, I just enjoyed myself. And I'm so happy. Like, I, I can't even think. I don't even know. Like, I, I feel like sometimes you can't even thank somebody when they, when they do something for you like that. You just got to reciprocate that energy and make sure that person or those persons, um, you got to make sure that you know they feel it and you reciprocate it because nobody had to do anything for me and the fact that they did and not only did but went above and beyond is just so nice and thoughtful and beautiful so yeah i hope you guys enjoy you know all the little clips that i inserted and everything i enjoyed it um like i said i did post on my birthday but i didn't feel like the desire to have to make the perfect post like i literally was just living in my moment enjoying myself and i'm just like dang i'm really 25 years old like like me talk to my boyfriend about like dreams and goals and like what we cracking down on this year and honestly like that's just the best time with to me like eating talking about my goals just talking to him and just having that bonding time that's the best time to me and i wasn't even really worried about anything else so yeah that's how my birthday went you guys and like i said i'm just thankful <laughs> i keep saying it but i am like god gave me 
you know, another chance. Ah, I'm not gonna get emotional, but he gave me another chance of life. You shouldn't take it for granted. Do whatever it is that you wanna do. Um, don't let anyone interfere with your happiness, your joy, your peace. Um, birthdays are super duper, duper special. And do whatever you want. Don't let social media make you feel like you have to do, do these extravagant things or get the perfect picture or the perfect. Just let everything flow and everything will all, everything's already planned out. But it will work out the way it's supposed to if you have faith. Make sure you pray. And my boyfriend kept telling me that because I was just like, I don't have an itinerary because usually I'm that person. But like I said, this year I didn't really have that feeling of really going somewhere. So it was like I did not create an itinerary like I would usually do because I wasn't in the mood. And he kept telling me like everything's going to be fine. Like stop worrying about it. We're, we're going to be okay. We're going to find things to do once we get there. And that's really like so true like you don't have to have everything perfect i feel like when stuff is too perfect that's when it falls apart just go let it happen if somebody says they got you they got you and just let everything flow do what it is that make you happy if you just want to go get coffee and stuff your face and be in your bed all day do that if you want to go you know on a lavish extravagant trip do that but don't let the pressure of other people make you change your mind of what you really want to do on your birthday or in, or on any day like allow yourself to feel and just surround yourself with people who love you and encourage um that mentality you know what i'm saying and i'm glad that i have loving people around me who you know encourage me to you know not do anything too crazy but encourage me to actually enjoy because now next year i'll have something to look back and reflect on and say well at least i did this and i did this and i did this you know so i'm i'm just grateful so yeah guys <laughs> sorry to talk y'all head off like that but i just wanted to talk about that so i will see you all later maybe